Shalom, shalom to the elect of Yashallah. This your brother Puwaria coming back at you with another quick lesson from Great Millstone Des Moines. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. And as you can see, the title is This Devil Has a God Complex. Because here it is, the Lord God, our power. He told us that he is our power, man. He is our God and none else, man. The same power, because God just means power, man. So it's the same power that had the blueprint that created everything. The same power that uh, delivered us out of Egypt. And it's the same power that's going to deliver us out of this Egypt through his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. But here it is. You got this devil coming along. Acting like he's the most high power. All right. Just because he got all this, this, this technology, he had the fatness of the earth. You know what I'm saying? The sword, he was blessed with the sword. All right. And he's using his technology to play God through, uh, through his heart program. Um, uh, what else? He do his artificial intelligence, you know, MK ultra, all these things that he's using to, to play God. He's trying to brain scan you. He want to read your, your, your dreams. All right. He want to have the power, whether you live or die, man. He want to make you out of a, 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 a digital all. All right. By putting that RFI to the D into your body, man, to control you, man. That's what this devil is trying to do. And the Lord is allowing him to do these things, but he ain't going to be able to, to fulfill his enterprise. All right. The Lord is going to shut all these, all of this down, man. When he think he's about to fill his belly with all these things he think, because uh, what he think is a vein, like I tell you in Psalms 2, he imagine a vein thing, you know. Let's just read it real quick. This is Psalms 2 and one it says why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing the, the this devil man is imagining vain things things that are worthless because the lord ain't gonna allow you to um allow you to um ought to allow you to have these things come to pass all right but what I wanted to read was uh, Daniel 4 and 17. It says this matter is by the decree of the watch watcher and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it, it to whomever he will and set it up over it the base of men so it's the lord that has allowed you to set up and rule okay so you can push forth all your wickedness be prideful as all hell so when the lord come he can humble your ass and set this place straight man it ain't no way no how to allow the lord is going to allow you to push forth your new world order which is really a new world disorder all right, because it's going to be the Lord that come and bring his world with order. That's when we're going to have order and peace and all these things, man. All right. Uh, let's get uh, Job 9 and 24. And it reads, it says, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who was the ones that put up this image and said, this is our Savior, our Lord and Savior, man? It was no Asian people or the, the African people that put this image up, man. This is an indicator of who hates our Lord, man. Who is against our power and who is the ones that's trying to set themselves up to be like their God, man. That's who it is, man. You know, and, and and that's why the Lord is gonna come and, and and show you who the true power is. 
All right. Because once again, this devil has a God complex. And let's look up what that is, man. When you look up God complex, God, it says God complex. It says a conviction that one is infallible, merits special attentions and privileges not enjoyed by other people and can achieve anything one wants. A non-clinical name for narcissistic. And that's what this devil is, man. He's narcissistic. All right. It says a God complex is a personality pattern in which an individual believes they have great power or influences and are superior to others. It often includes delusions of grandeurs, narcissism and exaggerated feelings of self-importance. <laughs> this the characteristics of this devil, man. You know, it says, uh, and, and it's a mental disorder. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cause you gotta be out your mind to think you, you, uh, do the things that the, that our power can do or surpass him. You know, it says a complex can influence the way you think about yourselves and others. The God complex leads you to believe your power is on par with God. This condition is closely related to narcissistic personality disorder, a mental health problem that requires perfect, proper diagnostics and treatment. All right. And that's why it tells you. Um, uh, when you read in uh, what's that Psalms 49 and 11, the inward parts. They think that this place is going to continue on forever. Roughly paraphrasing that, that scripture. Let's just get it real quick. Psalms 49 and 11. It says their inward thoughts. It says their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever in their dwelling places to all generations they call their lands after their own names. All right. So here it is. They in, in their mind, they think in this place is going to continue on. And that's why they're trying to crash this dollar so they can push forth this this digital currency and push forth that RFID chip. That C hip, you know what I'm saying, on all the people so they can rule every rule everybody, man. All right. So that's this that's the devil we dealing with. That, you know what I'm saying? This is who we dealing with. This is what we up against, man. A base of all men that's trying to play God. But hey, like I said, man, the, the, hey, Yahweh Shah is about to come and visit this place and shut you down, man. You ain't not you're not about to keep continuously trying to play God. Cause you see what you what happens when you try to play God. When he set up the base of all men. You see what happens, man. This place is getting weaker and weaker. More is getting wicked, more wicked and more wicked each and every day, man. All right. This is Ezekiel. We're going to read verse 28. And we'll start with uh, verse 2. It says, Son of man. Say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus said the Lord power and, and Tyrus. This is a, a twofold. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, even back then, Tyrus was known for their important or whatever, the ships and et cetera. And it's the same with this place, man. You know what I'm saying? And so this this fit the description of this devil right now, man. All right. And it says, thus said the Lord power, because thy heart is lifted up and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not God. Though thou set thy heart as the heart of God, <laughs> man, this dude got it in his mind that he the most high power. Cause he gets away with man, it, ain't nobody coming in and, and checking his ass, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but that's why World War Three gonna come, man. Cause all these other nations 
are mad. They fed up with your shit, man. Even your own allies is fed up with your ass. And that's when that Jeremiah was, I think it's Jeremiah 51 and 7. The, the other nations are mad, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, hey, people tired of your wickedness, man, and your lies and deceptions. All right? Uh, let's get another one. Uh, this is Second Thessalonians. <clears throat> We're gonna read Second Thessalonians two, and we'll start with three. It says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed." The son of perdition. And that man of, of, of sin is, is Esau Edom, man. All right. This devil, the son of perdition, the son of destruction. All right. And that falling away first came and um, started in um, 70 AD. All right. Verse four, it says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. And that's what this devil is doing. He's exalting himself and, and saying, I am I am God, man. Ain't nobody messing with me. All right. I could do whatever the hell I want to do. All right? You know what I'm saying? And that's why this devil got all these different um, embassies and all these other nations uh, and, and all these other uh, countries and nations, you know. Uh, but read knowing it says. It says, verse four, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. All right. And that's what this devil is doing, trying to portray that he's God, man. All right. But we know that there's no one greater than our power, man. He's trying to do and perform the things on the left hand side, what the Lord have done on the right hand side, man. And you can't do it. You won't do it. All right. Let's read real quick. Exodus 15. And verse 13. Thou in thy mercy has led forth the people which thou has redeemed. Thou has guided them in thy strength unto the holy inhabitations. Uh, was that what I wanted? Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, who is like, I'll read verse 11. It says, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? All right. Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? All right. So, hey, that's a rhetorical question, man. Who could do the things that God have done, man? The one that created the heavens and earth. All right. Nobody, man. Not even this prideful devil that's setting himself, setting himself up to be God, you know. He's delusional. All right. It says, Thou stretcheth out thy hand, thy right hand, the earth swalloweth them. Thou in thy mercy hast led forth. I read that. So that was the point in 11, man. Ain't nobody, uh, you can't, can't nobody compare it to the Lord, man. Our power. All right. Okay, so let's get Psalms we we'll read Psalms 10 and verse 3 Verse two, it says the wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken 
in the devices that they have imagined. So all this, what this devil is trying to push forth and, and imagine and thinking that he's going to do to the people, he's going to fall into his own trap, his own snares, man. All right. It says, verse three, for the wicked boasts of his heart's desire and blesses the covetous whom the Lord ahorteth. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is in God is not in all his thoughts. All right. And the God is not in none of his thoughts, man. Why? Because he thinks he's God and he want to push forth to, to the people that. It push for that's why he pushed forth evolution, man, and science. You know, trying to find out a way, you know what I'm saying, to disannul the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and discredit him for being a creator of all things, man. And and give the credit to evolution, a big bang theory. You know, all this nonsense, man. All right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much on that, man. Hey, so we serve the true power, man. We the one, hey, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That's the true power of the world, man. And like it tells you in Psalms 96 and 5, the gods of all these other nations are idle. They're idols, man. All right? So you, hey, you shouldn't put your trust in no other god, you know? And not in man. None of that, man. Because the Lord said, I am the Lord and none else. No God is beside me. That's what the Lord said, man. You read that in Isaiah 45 and 5. All right. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much the point, man. You know. But. uh, I one thing I also mentioned that this devil want to control. Whether you live and die, you know what I'm saying? He want to know what you're thinking. He want to do all these things, man. But let's read this in 1 Samuel 2 and verse 6. It says, the Lord killeth and maketh of life. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. All right. The Lord make of poor and make of rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. See, this is the Lord that does these things. But here it is. You got this devil. He wants to do all these things, man. He want to have the power to, to whether you live or die, you know. And he's trying to push forth that, man. He's pushing it heavy, man. He think he's going to succeed in these wicked devices that he's going to think he's going to uh, succeed in doing. But once again, like I said, the Lord is going to shut him down, man. All right. This is Psalms. 86. And let's read Let's start with verse seven. It says, in the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee for thou will answer me. All right. So we're going to call upon Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in the time of trouble. We're going to trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in the time of trouble. Not man. Not any of these other gods. You know. Our power is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Reading verse eight, it says, among the gods, there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Neither are there any works like unto thy works. <laughs> so, man, the things, the, the little miracles that the so you know, that this devil have done. It, it can't you can't compare it. To the miracles Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad does, man. All right. And it says, All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name 
for thou art great and do of wonder of things. Thou art God alone. All right. It says, teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord, my power with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. All right. Which is also shows you the, the importance of knowing his true name and calling upon his true name. Okay. So we're going to have that name now, not in the kingdom. The Lord has revealed his true name unto us now to call upon so that we may be saved. All right. I was looking for another scripture. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's get this in Sirach. We're going to read Sirach 36 and I'll just start from the top 36 and 1 it says have mercy upon us O Lord power of all and behold us and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee lift up thy hand against the strange nation and let them see thy power and that's what the Lord is going to do, man. Y'all about to see the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. <laughs> soon and very soon. Even to you unbelievers that don't believe that the Lord exists or the Lord is going to come and, and set up his, his righteous kingdom. Hey, y'all about to see real soon, man, the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, lift up thy. Uh. I read two again. It says, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power as thou was sanctified in us before them. So be thou magnified amongst them before us and let them know thee as we have known thee that there is no God, but only thou, O power God, Yahweh. All right. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify the, thy hand and thy right arm, and they may set forth thy wondrous work. Thy wondrous works. Raise up ignorant nation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. And that's what the Lord is about to come and do, man. Destroy his enemy. All right. That's what we're we're waiting for, man, for our true power to come and destroy this place and 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 his, and his enemies. All right. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much the point, man. You know. We just got to make sure, man, we're serving the true power. And, and putting our trust in him, man, and not in this devil. So this devil wants you to put your trust in him. He wants you to come to him begging for for all, you know, for everything, you know what I'm saying, unto him. He wants you coming unto him, man, crying out unto him. And you, it was one time, I forgot who it was. You know, you got some of these actors and actresses or whatever. I forgot who it was that was begging the president, man, for, you know, to do this and do that, man. Not crying and we ain't begging for this devil for nothing, man. All right. I ended with this real quick. This is Judges 10 and 13. It says, yet we have forsaken, yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, so, you know, our power is a jealous power, man. You got, hey, he don't want you serving nobody else. He don't want you trusting in nobody else but him, man. All right. That's why scripture says there shall have, uh, you should, thou shall not have no other God before me. All right. So we got to put our trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in these days, man. And not in this devil when he come with his wrath. 
thinking he's going to rule shit and rule forever in wickedness. There ain't no way you can rule in wickedness, man. That shit is not, it's shit, it's over with. Shit's played out, man. It can't last. All right. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. We almost out this hellhole. Let's continue to endure to the end. All right. Shalom to the Akims. Shalom to the Aquas. Shalom.